adding back buttons to your PlayStation 5 controller has traditionally been very difficult, but a new product on the line is trying to change all that. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. We've spent a ton of time on this channel reviewing different ways to get back buttons on your PlayStation 5 controller. There's a few options right here on the table. We've tried almost everything for back buttons. And the number one problem that we noticed was all of them had a very high barrier for entry. And what I mean by that is to get something like this, which is the B Savior back paddle. This is on my daily driver controller. So I use this one all the time. When you see me gaming on Twitch, this is the controller that I'm using. Now to create this controller, you have to pull your PlayStation 5 controller completely apart, install this. Sometimes you need to solder. Some of these kits have been made to uh, be very easy to install, but they still require a lot of installation. Now that's a hard pill to swallow, especially when devices like this have been around. This is the Strike Pack from Collective Minds. Now this is for your PlayStation 4 controller, and how it works is very simple. You simply plug this in to the front of the controller just like this, flip this little strap up here, clip it on, and instantly any controller you want has back paddles. And this was the back paddle configuration that I used for a very long time on the PlayStation 4. So long, in fact, that when I first got my PlayStation 5, I actually made a few videos showing you how to use products like these to use your PlayStation 4 controller on PlayStation 5 games. Now, those of you who are wondering, yes, you can still use something like this B Savior to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to PlayStation 5 games and actually play those games using this back button mod. Even using like this Resno, which will allow you to connect your controller to your PlayStation 5 and play those games. I've done videos on all of these products. You can check those out when you're done watching this video. But wouldn't it be great if a device just like this existed that simply clipped onto back of your PlayStation 5 controller. Well, have I got some good news for you. The team at Collective Minds have actually done it. They have created the world's first controller back paddle attachment with no mod required. It will attach to any PlayStation 5 DualSense controller and give you back buttons. Let's have a look at what they've released. A quick trip over to the Collective Minds website will have us finding this. Now in the PlayStation 5 section we see the Strike Pack Horizon Vista for DualSense standard controllers. Now this is $59.99 which is steep. That's very expensive but when you look at kind of the features that it gives you it's not so bad. Let's take a quick look at the introduction video that Collective Minds released for this Strike Pack Horizon and then we're going to go through the features in a little bit more detail. I'll try to explain exactly how it's working. seen that intro video let's talk about kind of what they're doing here now this works very similar to what we saw already here this is um, it just attaches to the USB-C port at the front of the controller and then straps on and then gives you this what we're seeing here this kind of backpack thing now they they actually give you four programmable back buttons and the nice thing about these buttons is they can be assigned macro or multi push functions as well. So it's not just remapping, but it's remapping button sequences for uh, pretty much all kinds of games. The other really big bonus that this thing gives you is it is now app supported. Now in that app, you can do a lot of really cool things. 
then it's very similar to what you can do with the Cronus Zen. So they can give you anti-recoil, they can give you aim assist, they can give you extreme aim assist. It's almost like cheating. It almost gives you the ability to cheat in games. It is fully customizable. Now it is basic. If you're looking at this thinking, you know, this is gonna replace my Cronus Zen. The Cronus Zen actually gives you a lot more features and functionality and fine tuning control than what this versus the Horizon Vista. So the Horizon Vista does not give you full control over a lot of the minute details. But for most of you, many of you, you probably won't even know what you're missing. This makes it a lot easier to just plug it in, attach it to any controller and go. I mean, I have a lot of questions about this and I've been trying to get my hands on one, but unfortunately, currently they are only shipping to the United States. I'm stuck up here in Canada, so I can't actually get one right now. But I did want to kind of highlight the fact that they are out there. They are shipping. People can get these in their hands now and people are starting to use them. So. I did want to talk about how it works, how they made it work. And the big breakthrough was when the B Savior team were able to create this, the U5 dongle, because this really works the same as this U5 dongle in functionality. And what that means is if you were to take your PlayStation 5 controller and plug the B Savior U5, well, plug it in this way, into here like this, and then plug this into your PlayStation, it would do the same thing. It creates a man in the middle attack. So this actually allows you to program any buttons to those back buttons. So a lot of you are gonna ask, can I map L3 or R3? Yes, you can map L3 or R3 to those back buttons. You can also adjust those macros which have multi-button pushes. The things that I wanna know though, like the button placement, it's kind of weird. I've gotten used to the button placement on these and I really, really like the layout of the B-Savior back paddle um, four button layout for my PlayStation 5. So this would be a new layout that I'd have to get used to. But a lot of you are worried about stick drift. I don't want to spend a lot of time modding my favorite controller, putting everything on there and then getting stick drift and have to throw it in the garbage or pull those mods off and transfer them to a new controller. In fact, this one, the blue guy here, I've been using this for just over a year now and I am starting to get stick drift. We're going to be making a new video showing you guys how to fix stick drift coming up, but that's not this video. So you got stick drift when you've got the Strike Pack Horizon Vista. All you do is you pull it off, get a new controller, stick it on that one, and you have back paddles, and you have everything that you need. Now they do say that they add clicky triggers, and this is a bit of a misnomer. What I mean by that is, this controller right here has clicky triggers. So when I pull that trigger, it clicks and stops. I can't pull it any further than that. When they say they have clicky triggers, what they mean is you have still full range of motion, but using the Collective Minds Strike Pack, as soon as you move just a little bit, it will activate as if it's a full trigger. What they don't have are trigger stops to stop you from pushing the button all the way. And what's surprising to me is on the other strike packs, and I can, let's pull one up here. This is the PS4 strike pack eliminator, but it comes with what they call the hair trigger stop. Now what that does is, can I get closer? It adds these little wings here that come out and have a little ledge on there that would catch right on the edge of the controller so that it actually stops. Now, I don't know why they don't also include that on this guy. Possibly they want to sell you the upgrade. This looks like an upgrade to their strike pack eliminator. So that might be coming in a future revision, but why wouldn't they do that right from the start? Like they know that that's a high seller it's something that I would want. I, I really count on having these trigger stops because I just, when I play with a controller that has full motion triggers, it throws me off a lot now. This is really exciting for me. I reached out to some of my suppliers overseas to see if any of them got their hands on some of these that they can ship me or if anyone else is coming to market. You see Collective Minds is first to market with this, but they're not using proprietary technology. You see the B Savior U5, does the same thing. It just doesn't have the back paddle. The Cronus Zen actually does the same thing in the way that it uses the PlayStation 5 controller to allow the Cronus Zen to work on your PlayStation 5 console. And even the Resno has the ability to use a PlayStation 5 controller on your PlayStation 5 console using the same kind of man in the middle attack to get devices like this working. 
So it's not some real big secret how they're doing it. Anybody can do it once they understand how it's being done. And so this will open the door for a lot of copycats to pop up and a lot of other companies to do it differently. So even though this is the first, and I'd love to get my hands on one to try one out, there's a few things that I don't like about it, and particularly it's the buttons. I'm just not sure that I'm gonna get used to the button placement on that. I would like to have button wings, like what I'm already used to. So I'm hoping somebody else comes to market with those wings. A new era is here for the PlayStation 5, where we're finally gonna get our attachable back paddles without having to open a controller up, and that is really exciting. There is one major, major downside, and many of you guys probably realized it already this is a tethered modification that means you're no longer going to be wireless you must plug the controller into the playstation 5 and it must always be plugged into the playstation 5 for it to work so you're not going to be able to be wireless you're not going to be able to be like 20 feet away from your tv you're gonna have to play wired it's not usually a bad thing because a wired connection is actually the faster connection anyway so it's not a big deal for competitive players, but it is something to consider. Now, I do wanna know what you guys think. Have you guys got your hands on one? Have you looked at these? Have you even heard of these? Uh, post comments down below, I'd love to chat about it. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together you'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.